Hello, Shalom, Rastafari. They say to Rastafari, they say, they say, where's your God? You know what I'm saying? They say to the Beit Israel, to us the once lost, but now found sheep, they say, where's your God? And the question was asked in 1966. You know what I'm saying? 1966, see John chapter 6, verse 6. You know what I'm saying? When they, they turned away, they no longer followed Yeshua HaMoshiach. They no longer follow the true uh, Jesus Christ and his true gospel, the true good news, where he says, one who believe or have faith, true faith in him, will not even see death. You know what I'm saying? Does not even see death. You know what I'm saying? When I even view death. Now, we touched on the Oriana Falachi interview. That was in, that was in the, um, actually, part two. This is another series that we are in. Um, is God dead? And, and why do they say to I and I that our God is dead, our God Father? You know what I'm saying? Why do they say that? Well, behold. You know what I'm saying? Behold him. You know what I'm saying? Behold him. Now, there's a very important prophetic word. We want to do this in, in, in just, a, just a kind of a, 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 a direct, you know what I'm saying, teaching on this right here. You know what I'm saying? From the word. You know what I'm saying? From the scriptures. Because there's a mystery of God in Christ. You know what I'm saying? There's a mystery of God in Christ. Right? And we see that mystery of God in Christ. But then we have that prophetic word right there from um, Zephaniah 2 and 12, which speaks about the, the careless Ethiopians. Right? The careless Ethiopians. Remember, the Ethiopians scripturally, the holy Ethiopians and Ethiopia scripturally, is linked in that Al Kidan, that benign Barit. Now, see, men and racist people, you understand, um, confused people, they doubt it because there's a whole white supremacy and everything bad is black. But you remember, everything has been flipped upside down. So if ones were not under satanic mind control, you understand, or who, who were not, as the Bible says, um, taken captive by the devil at his will, that they seek to make their wills obedient to good influence and to avoid evil. You understand? Then they can show and demonstrate that, 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 that great wisdom. You understand? The, the greatest of wisdom. So we have here in the scripture concerning Abba Kedus and this, and this revelation right here. Now, we were asked by some, um, what about more sightings? And, and, I, and I wanted to say this word right here. Really, we don't need any more sightings. You know, you know what I'm saying? This is very, um, not just persuasive, you know what I'm saying? But when we put now it scripturally to the test, you know what I'm saying? Biblically to the test, and, and based on the statements and, and, the, and the, the, the word sound of His Majesty, His Imperial Majesty Himself, we should already be fully persuaded, and we should already know. You know what I'm saying? That this was for our confirmation. You know what I'm saying? Not to run around looking for the sight. Because remember in 1970, what was it? In 19, um, actually, yeah, in the 1970s, the, the song by Bob Marley, right? Where he did the tune, um, John Liv. Let's bring that up right here, John Liv, right? Where he did the tune, John Liv. That tune by Bob Marley. You know what I'm saying? John Liv. Now, the woman you see over there... That's our Oriana Falachi, and we we touched on that in the, you know, in the, in the previous in the previous uh, lecture, the previous word sign, all right. And this is a little bit of the overflow right here. That Bob Marley he did the tune Jaliv, you understand? In the Hebrew that'd be Yahai Yahai, that Jaliv. Now, why in the Bible would the, the 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 true and living God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior? re-emphasize that word unless he knew, you know what I'm saying, that we would be in days like these, you know what I'm saying, that we would be in days like these, so, and we now understand that Bob on one level of view, and from a seclorum level, that he was um, murdered, right, the evidence points to certain Nazi scientists and doctors and so forth and so on, because they viewed him as the most dangerous man you understand, in the world, you understand, and other things went on, and 
we have to recognize that it, it does say that there would be, you understand? So that in our faith, we recognize that, you understand? And, 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 and so be for truth and right, you understand? But now when we look at this fullness right here, right? So that's Bob right there and John lives. You understand? And let's get that photo right there for a moment, right? Let's get that photo, right? Let's see if we can get that photo and add that to this uh, presentation collection right here, right? Let's see if we can add that to this. Okay, let's paste that over here because it's very important for us to, you know, put this together properly. You understand? So his testimony, right? Bob Marley's testimony, his uh, faithful testimony. He's, he's one of those martyrs, you understand, because it says that there would be you understand? There would be um, such martyrs, especially in these last days and time. But, but we should not fear. It says, fear none of those things that we shall suffer. You understand? Fear none of those things. This is and these are the last times of this Gentile world domination. But moreover, of this demonic, because there's, there's a whole spiritual level. There's, there's spiritual wickedness in high places, not high and low places. The low places we trample on the feet. Therefore, your feet must be shod with that preparation, you understand, of the gospel, that gospel of his peace. You understand, that's why we say shalom, rastafari. This is why we study, you understand, to show I and ourselves approved. You understand. So now, here in looking at this particular, this is like a revelation right here. And we want to show you this, this photo. We had touched on this before previously. This is Abba Caduce, and we've looked at some of the other photos. And this is right before um, His Majesty stepped down. And he stepped down, though there's a lot of liars out there. You understand? But we've been putting the whole picture together because they've told us certain things. And then it says to study, to investigate these things for ourselves. And a lot of other brothers and sisters have been doing this research. You know what I'm saying? Now we're putting together our facts. You know what I'm saying? What we have found. And there are some very wonderful, amazing, you know what I'm saying, um, um, testimonies. But the question is, do you love truth? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, do you really love truth or are you just curious? You know what I'm saying? Because it says you should know the truth. And the truth is what sets I and I free. You understand? And whom the Son has set free is free indeed. All right? So this is his magic. There's a Hosea prophecy where it speaks about how he will hide his face. You understand? So his magic is hiding his face right there with the battle helmet. You understand? To see this more, more full like this right there, right? Okay. Let us overstand. The Alpha and the Omega. So let's deal with the scripture and the and the prophetic word. We're here in um let's turn our Bibles. In fact we have brought that up in the previous um portion right here. You over at near the end of the previous portion. And we touched on Revelation um Revelation one and eighteen, Revelation two and and eight. And then we had also touched on, we went through the Falachi, right, the Falachi interview, right, of his imperial majesty. Let's, let's, bring this, um, let's bring this to the web right here, right? And this is right here, Oriana Falachi interview, right? So as we go down this particular page right here, the conquering of the line of Judah has prevailed. Moan, Beth, them together, Yehuda. Hala Shalasi first, Adamawi Haila Shalase, elect of God, Siyume Egaziabi here, King of Kings of Ethiopia, Nugus and Nagas, Ze Ethiopia. Now, this whole interview, we went through it. Many points were revealed, much rain the word. But she begins to ask him about, like, um, she says some very, very interesting things. It's very telling what you find, you understand, as you, as, as you look into the details of what she's saying right here and the perspective she's coming from. But the last part of it, she asks right over here, she says, um, how does how does Haile Selassie view death? Right? View death. 
He's in Pearl Mags. He responds, and this is June, I think, 24th, 1973. He's in Pearl Mags. He responds, do what? What? Do what? You understand? And now let's remember the prophetic, the prophetic word. And, and, and this word we didn't add in the, in the place of the overflow. You understand? Where he says, um, should not uh, see death. You understand? Those who have faith in Christ, true faith in Christ, should not even see death. Right? See death. Now, seeing death is doing what? Seeing death is viewing death. You understand? It, 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 he says right here, he says uh, in John 8 and 51, Verily, verily, or amen, amen, I say to you, I say to you all, if a man keep my what? My saying. You know, you know whether we keep the saying of Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm saying? The saying of Yeshua HaMoshiach in spirit and in truth. You know what I'm saying? That right there is the reward. You know what I'm saying? John 8 and 51. It's just that when people read this and they really check out what it's really saying, it becomes too... Um, they have to, they, they suspend, should we say, they suspend um, belief. You know, in, in other words, they say that's incredible. And if it's not credible, it has no credit. You understand? You cannot get any credit from that, or you cannot basically admit in that. So, like, if you don't put anything in, if you don't put the word in, in faith, and receive it in faith, you can't get anything out of it. So it's interesting when we see that right there, and then we see Abba Kedus, his imperial majesty, and when we know the scripture or the prophetic word concerning he will not see death, right? And that's what we're speaking about right here, right? Um, now, let's over this, right? Let's over this right here. Let's over even 11 and 5 from Hebrews. When we look at 11 and 5 in Hebrews, it says, By faith, Enoch, remember Ethiopic Enoch, was translated that he should not, what, see death, that he should not view death, right? View what? You understand? How does Hylas Selassie the first view death? That was the question that Oriana uh, Phylacy, or full of cheese, right? That's what she asked. You understand that undercover um Luciferian, Satanist, you know what I'm saying? What, what she, or she was a prostitute, that prostitute. That's what we call Oriana Falachi. She was a prostitute, you know what I'm saying? So she kept pushing this point, you know what I'm saying? And, and then a couple of places in the interview, his imperial majesty has to say, um, like, we, the father and the son, doesn't understand this or that question that she's posing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's posing these questions very subliminally. You know what I'm saying? And see, this is when we talk about the word. And by our words will be justified, right? And then by our words we will be condemned. It's very important for us to understand word, sound, and power. You know what I'm saying? When we see what His Majesty said in that particular interview, when we see the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying, such as the Is God Dead? You understand conspiracy, and we understand how this, how this um, so-called the uh, spiritual side or occultic side of the New World Order, or the Illuminati, the Helen Blavatsky crowd, and the Albert Pikey crowd, you know what I'm saying, and the so-called European Freemasonic crowd. It's very important to recognize the truth of what we're saying that His Majesty Kadamawi Haile Selassie is not a Freemason, but he was that stone. That, that building block, because that building block was in Christ. You understand? Know and, and, and we get to recognize this more and more. It, it becomes very um, wonderful, but on some levels, even at a certain point, amazing when you see His Majesty's Christian faith. Mm -hmm. And also His Majesty's exercise of this in the real world. Not just something He was saying, but what He was doing. When we look at the work the true work of his imperial majesty. When we look at what occurred and what happened, and then when we get to the root of, well, what was behind that? Now, we have to understand this particular word that we're speaking here. You understand, like in John, was 8 and 51? John 8 and 51, and what does it say? Let's turn our Bibles to John 
8 and 51. Could we leave this on the screen for a moment? Turn your Bibles with I and I to John chapter 8, verse 51. So when you overstand, just from a, a regular Christian, if you're truly a faithful Christian, please consider this. You don't have to be a Rastafarian. You know what I'm saying? You have to um, burn ganja or marijuana or whatever like that to overstand this. So let us reason. Come, let us reason. From a Christian perspective, we look at John, St. John chapter 8, right? Verse 51. He says, uh, he says, uh, 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 Verily, verily, I say to you, right? If a man keep my saying, if a man say what I say, keep that, protect that, have faith in that, right? He shall never see death. He shall never see death. Let's, let's view um, what Falachi said over here, right? Look what Falachi said over here. How does Hala Falachi view death? How does he see death? In fact, the, uh, if this was in translation, you know, says Matthew overstood, but I could just imagine, you know, in, in, and that's why he, he, he answers what? View what? Mm-hmm. See, for the God of Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov, the triune God, right, is the God of the living, not the God of the dead. You know what I'm saying? View what? So how, how does Lassie like view what? View death? View who? View what? You know what I'm saying? So she says now, death, your majesty, right? I mean, even if you study this and, and really, uh, you know, um, get into this, because she already said this one time up here, when you die. You know what I'm saying? She's saying when you die. Now, why are this? Why is this prostitute? You know what I'm saying? Pushing this particular point right here. You know, push this particular point because I think she said it about three times. Well, first she says up here, Your Majesty, you are Ethiopia. It is you that keeps it in hand, in the hand of the Lord, right? That keeps it united, right? What will happen when you are no longer there? He says, what do you mean? We do not understand this question. The Father and Son does not understand this question. When you die, Your Majesty. Then he explains to her Ethiopia, the 3,000 years, the first man appearing, right, in the Garden of Eden. All of these things, the crown prince, you understand how the dynasty will go on for centuries more. You understand, in spite of the 36, 37 and counting, we call 40 years the time of one king, you understand, until the full restitution, you understand, of the, the um, Davidic monarchy in Ethiopia, right? So um, she goes on, and then she says, how does Haile Selassie view death? You understand, how does Haile Selassie view death? And then he responds right here. He says, what? View what? And then she says, death, your majesty, right? And so his response is very interesting. Now, when you, you can only understand this when you're coming from a, a, a true and a faithful Christian perspective. You understand? A true and a faithful one. That means you're not caught up on the white Jesus, Caesar Bougiers, you understand? You're willing to accept that the fact that Christ is black and Ethiopian, really here, you're willing to accept that because it's in spirit and in truth. You're not caught up on the whitewash or racism. If you view this in connection with his both word and deed, right, what he has done for Ethiopia, what he has done for I and I, for many of us can give you our own personal testimony, what sort of people we were. You understand? Before his majesty found we, the once lost but now found black sheep. You understand? The Beta Israel, the Falashes of the West. Then you can understand what his majesty is saying here when he says, Death, death, right? He says, what? Who is this woman? Satana. And where does she come from? From the pit of hell. You understand? What does she want? She, want, she wanted him to violate in word, sound, and power. You know what I'm saying? To violate in words, sound, and power. But as I said earlier, he, he hasn't cursed his fate. He, he hasn't cursed himself. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, by your words, you be justified. By your words, you be condemned. John 8 and 51 says, Verily, verily, amen, amen, I say to you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. 
he shall not view that. And then in Hebrews 11 and, and, and 5, what does it say 11 and 5? By faith, the imnet, the imnet in the Amen, Hanok or Enoch, Ethiopic Enoch, was translated that he should not see death, that he should not view death, and was not found, like they did not find his imperial majesty, because God, and what is God, who is God? The spirit, spirit and truth. Christ tells you that God is the spirit. What kind of spirit? The spirit of truth. You understand? Because our faith, to what our faith tells us that he is visible and invisible. So when we see his imperial majesty, you understand, when we see this, as we'll call it, when we see this shell, you understand, we are seeing that physical truth, that physical um, testimony, but we're not seeing, you understand, that, that, that awesome God power, in other words, the, the spiritual aspect. We, our eyes could not take it, you understand, the, the consuming fire. Our eyes could not take it. So Enoch, by faith, by faith, Enoch was what translated that he should not see, view death, and was not found, because God, you understand, the spirit of truth, had translated him, for before his translation, he had this testimony, what sort of testimony did he have, that he pleased God, he pleased the spirit and the truth, you understand, he testified to the truth, even as emperor of Ethiopia, you know saying he testified to the truth. You know saying in spirit, right, and in truth, in word and in deed. That's why Burhana Salati's album, Bar Molly's album, Jalib, Yahai, Yahai, Jalib, Children, Yeah. So when the word says in Revelation one and eighteen, it says Mochim uh, Nabaruhu. In the home, cause the lalem is cause the lalem the rest. Piyau neng, ye motena ye siolem mekfecha aleng. So, so the keys, these these keys, right? What it says, I am he that what liveth, right? And was what? And was dead. You understand? And was dead. They say they say Rasta. Your, your God is dead, you understand? And then they published in 66, what a year, you understand? So we can see the occultic, you understand, the occultic uh, conspiracy really in high gear, you understand? And we, when we say the full picture, we even see this right here, the dragon, you understand? The dragon, Revelation chapter what? Revelation chapter 5, chapter 12, chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12, and then we have Amos, Right, nine and seven. You understand, and what we're speaking about the rest, of the, the the restoration of the monarchy, the divine, our divine monarchy. We have to understand that is that is uh, uh, Amos nine eleven, Amos nine eleven. So it's it's very important for us to put this uh, prophetic, you understand, put this prophetic uh, picture to to together. You understand, this one in the white raiment. You know what I'm saying? This one in that white raiment. And also the martyrs. Remember when the word says, and the word speaks about the martyrs? You know what I'm saying? The martyrs who were, um, right? The martyrs who were, who were slain. You know what I'm saying? Who were slain, who were slain for their, for their faith. You know what I'm saying? And weapons of mass, you know, weapons of mass destruction, how they first was used in, Ethiopia, you know what I'm saying? The weapons of mass destruction. There's a whole movement. There's a whole God is dead movement. You know what I'm saying? Like even right there, another thing. God is dead, right? Movement. A memorial service will be held at blah 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 Friday at where Westminster. So 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 we see where this is coming out from, from the daughter of, from the daughter of 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 of, of Tyre. You understand? From the daughter of Tyre. So look it up for yourself, you know. Study. You understand? Nietzsche. Nietzsche is dead. God is dead, right? He, and who said that this is Nietzsche? Nietzsche's philosophy right here. God is dead, 1883, right? And then God says, he says 1900, that Nietzsche is dead. You understand? Nietzsche died. 
You know what I'm saying? And the same is going to happen if they do not repent. You know what I'm saying? The same is going to happen if they do not repent. So let us understand that, you know, and, and, and we, we, we call this actually the, the overflow right here. You know what I'm saying? Also, also, brothers and sisters, look at the colors, the colors that we have here. The colors that we have here are like Vatican colors. I know they're like cardinals, the cardinals. And what are the cardinals to the Pope? The cardinals are the, are the hinges of the door. The Pope is said to be the door in their theology, right? And the cardinals are the hinges. So you, you can see something is going on right there, you know what I'm saying, in those particular uh, colors. And then we have the imposter Pope. And we've been doing a research on that. Was that the Pope that His Majesty had met with in um, King Victor Emmanuel's uh, um, Quirinale Palace? You know, that wasn't the Vatican, that was Quirinale. People say that because they don't know. You know, they speak a lot of foolish things, foolishly. You understand? So, as far as Abba Kedus, right? Yes, we have a positive testimony right there. You know, but, but we were saying that, and Bodhana Selassie was saying that ever since, um, ever since like 1975, because many of the tears, you understand, know had fallen away. Many of the false brethren, you know, the ones who were not um, um, rooted and grounded as, as, as the parable of the sower. You understand, know the devil, they would snatch that word. They say, Rasta, your God is dead. Mm -hmm. But the true and the faithful Rastafari. We, we held that faith, you know what I'm saying? We held the true faith, and we bun them out, you know what I'm saying? And then we get this testimony, you know what I'm saying? There's more to this testimony, because why Caduce Estefanos, I think it's a monastery, but no, a Beta Cristiano or a monastery, why would he go into that monastery? Why were the four priests shot down and killed by the dirt? And everyone knows this was the monastery he went to pray, and as he went there one day, you understand? He was no longer seen, and he saw four priests, and they shot and killed four priests. You understand? Because we have to really see, well, who was behind, you understand, who was behind this creeping coup, as they call it in Ethiopia. So Ja Rastafari gets the last laugh. You understand? This is why this word has to be testified to the, let's go to chapter 2. So, so that is, that is um, where it says, I am he that liveth and was dead. Mm -hmm. Don't be unstable, brethren, or unlocked. If they say, well, he's dead. Well, he was dead. That's what, you know, he was dead. You know what I'm saying? Until we had this positive testimony affirmation. We don't have to, you know, go around and say, well, what's the sighting? Because so, just remember, since it's already been testified to, you know what I'm saying? One to one, just look at the early Christian church. There was uh, Jesus, Yeshua, and then there was Bar Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So there'd be false brethren who creep in, who don't be a witness, you understand, to the King of Kings and his Christ. And, and, and you must note them because they contradict. They take the names like identity theft. They take the name of Rastafari but do not do the things. They don't keep his, his saying. You know what I'm saying? And once again, this is a, a beautiful connection right here when we look at what His Majesty says right here, right, um, to this view what, what, view what, what, view what, what, view what. So when one asks you, well, when you die, what do you think about how to view what, view what? He said, verily, verily, I say to you, amen, amen, I say to you, if a man keep my saying, my saying, he shall never, and that means never, that means never, ever. You mean never, ever? He would never, ever, right? He would never, what? See that. See, this is the saying of our Lord and Savior. You understand? Of Adonai. This is why the Satanists and Luciferians, you understand? Why they hate Adonai. You understand? Why they hate Adonai. And a little expanding on what Christ is saying here, what Yes is saying in, in John 8, and, um, in John 8 and, and 51. And remember the connection right here with... Um, Hebrews 11 and 5, by faith, by Amen, Haino, Ethiopic Enoch, was translated. He wasn't lost in translation. He was translated that he should not view death, see death, and was not found, as he did not find Abba Kedus, because God, God, the Spirit of Truth, right, had translated him, for before his, what, translation, 
he had this testimony that he pleased God, the Spirit and the truth. You understand? And for those of y'all who wanna who wanna note that to 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 connect, well, what does God mean in this context? Well, look into John, right? Look into John's Gospel, right? John chapter John chapter three, right? Chapter three, well, actually chapter four. You could uh, chapter four, um, chapter four, verse twenty-two, where it says, "Ye worship, ye know not what." We, I and I, like when the message, we don't understand that question. We don't, you know, Rasta, uh, where's your God? We don't understand that question. You know what I'm saying? You, you see me, you see the Father. Ye worship, but y'all worship in the, in the world what you don't know. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews or salvation is of Moa and Vesa. The Im Negeda Yehuda, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Revelation five five, right? Verse twenty three. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father, the Abba, right, in spirit and in truth. This is so when one talk about the sightings, right? What about the sightings? Any more sightings? You understand? Are you in the true and living faith? Are you bearing true and faithful witness and testimony? You understand? Then, then what is this? Are you keeping his sayings or are you saying something else? You're making up stuff. You understand? But we keep his sayings. Shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father, Abba, he seeketh such to worship him. Verse 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is the message to us concerning the sightings. You know what I'm saying? The sightings of Abba Kedus. You know, you know, are there more sightings? Why do you need? Why do we really need? Because when I heard of, of the ascension, you understand? Know and remember, he who has come down go, can't go up. But, but, but there are ones who are earthbound, and they're bound here to a judgment. You understand? Know but the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's I and I who shall inherit, you know what I'm saying, the earth. But it's the, the spiritual warfare where they are, they are seeking to get us to, to violate that. You know what I'm saying? So don't be unstable and unlearned. Study and show yourself approved and, and keep his word. So God is a spirit. You know, so so when, when we're interpreting this, because some will say, well, who did his majesty pray to? Well, the father speaks to the son and the son speaks to the Father, or pray to the Father. That should be very clear. So verily, verily, I say to you, if a man keep my saying, if a man keeps Yeshua HaMoshiach's saying in spirit and in truth, he shall never see death. Right? He shall never see death. And then we have the Smyrna word. Remember the word in Smyrna? In chapter um, in chapter 2, when the angel uh speaks to the, uh, uh, when, 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 when the Lord speaks to the angel of the church of Smyrna and, 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 and was told to, to, to write, you understand, to write, let's see if we bring that up, verse 8, 2 and 8 of Revelation, Kiyawim Yehono, Sitanyawina, Mitarashao, Indih Yila. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, these things say of the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, Mekarahinna, Dihinetehin, Aukalo, Negargin, Balet Agane. Yes, sit on him, Mama Hibber, not showing G. I would fire on I would men, ye milut, ye sadabutin, sidib out alo. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We are rich, right? We are rich brothers and sisters. And I know the blasphemy, the insult of them which say they are Jews. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. 
Because there's even some um, Sephardi Morenos who are blaspheming and insulting both the father and I and I, the sons and the daughters. It goes on and say to us, in their hole, in Dita Fetanu Diablos Kanante Andando Andando Chachuhun, Be Wakni Lia Gavachu, Al Sir or Asher Asher Kenim, Mekarana Tik Evalachu, Is Ka Mot de Resa Ye Tamenihe, Ye Tamenihe, Hun, Ye He Wetanim Makalil Set Ahalo. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, the Diablo, shall cast some of you into prison. This is why we're about the prison ministry. And brothers and sisters and others, I and I have heard the I. Please be patient. Just prepare. You know, we, we, we are about I and I father's business. But yes, some of I and I have been cast into prison. That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful to death. In other words, when, when, when they threaten to destroy the physical, remember, he who can destroy the physical and the soul and the psychical, I was spiritual in death, in hell, over sin, in Sheol, right, in, in the Gehenna Issa, actually, all right, and I will give thee what a crown of life, the Keter, the Keter or the crown of life, right, and here's what it says in verse 11, it says, Menses laviate Christiana Yemila wina joro yalo yisma Dil ye nashao be hulatanyao mot aya gwedda. Right? It says, He that hath an ear, the spiritual ear, right? Let him hear what the spirit, the menses, saith to the churches or saith to the to the anointed community, to the Meshahawiyah, to the true Christi, the, the true Christian, yeah, the Christianos, the true Rastafari, those who are in the spirit and the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. He that overcometh, in other words, that stays faithful and true to that word and keep his saying, shall not be hurt of the second death. So we haven't even touched on that. You understand? Some of you understand. Some of you need to be told that there's a second death. You understand? There's a second death. So let's over understand what His Majesty means and what this testimony. So it's not for I and I to say or to look for sightings or go out of I and I ways. He says to try all things. You know, to prove all. You know, we, we try every spirit, try every spirit, and to prove all things. So even when they when they came with this picture. We had to really investigate. You know, they had to really study, put it together. You know, we're saying there's another another set of of, of stills where we actually compare the facial features. You know, we're saying, and we look at some of the latter the latter pictures, like this one right here, right? Like this one right here. And there's another vid. I don't know if you've seen. There's another vid. I think that's one on the house arrest. You know, saying, oh, he was in Minulik's uh, Gibi. You know, saying, or oh, palace. You know, then even the fingers, you know, looking at the fingers, looking at the facial features, and seeing it, even his hair coming out more woolly, white and woolly, just like Donnell says, just like Daniel's prophecy, you know, what I'm saying? and then also the various different um, testimonies, you know, saying? we had to check out different testimonies, and even I and I, mother-in-law giving I and I a testimony that, that, that she had heard concerning Abu Kedus and, and, and the war that has been going on in Ethiopia, you understand, um, by Paul Laws, you understand, the dead archbishop, you understand, as well as um, the prime minister, Melisanawi, to a certain extent, even though there's some indication that he might have been becoming a little repentant, you understand, and others in his circle, you understand, put a gun to his head, and he might have got to recognize what, uh, you know, Oswald Wilson also went through that he hadn't learned to die like a king, you know, to die to your, you know, die to your, 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 your old self, to really be born again and keep that saying, you know, and to be faithful even to the end because you will receive, you know, understand, a crown of life. So the, the monarchy will be restored, you know, saying keep the faith, brothers and sisters, and, 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 and 
study, you understand, and pray, you understand, and work, you understand, work out your salvation. Um, brothers and sisters, this is just, I mean, this right here, we want to touch on another aspect of this, um, this, this investigation, research, and study. So stay tuned. Shalom. Ras Safari.